So I'm doing something in my backyard that, you know, not a lot of people do. And it's, uh, it's just, and, and when you're doing it, you, you know, you're basically exploring your, when you see your first image pop up of some new nebula that I haven't seen before, it's just, it's pretty uh, awe-inspiring basically. <laughs> I started building this about a month after I started astrophotography. I got I got kind of hooked pretty quick. It's basically just a, a Home Depot uh, foam uh, that I wire laughed and stuccoed, and uh, it's a geodesic dome, so it's a bunch of uh, triangles uh, cut and glued together to make the, the round shape. Comparatively cheap equipment, you can you can you know capture basically almost what the Hubble captures if you if you take you know long enough time on it. What draws you to space photography like over and over? Well, I was instantly, instantly hooked basically because uh, my first, my first image was Andromeda and it, the, looking back on it, it was total garbage, but that's what hooked me. <laughs> Astrophotography is different than normal photography because you have to take many, many hours worth of photos uh, just to get one image. Um, some of the guys that have been doing it for years, they'll take, you know, 30 to 60 hours of photos for just one image. Basically what it is, is you take a series of photos uh, with this uh, telescope, and this, this telescope's on a, on, on a tracking mount, so it keeps track of the exact point in space where you're taking the photo. Um, but you take a series of photos, and sometimes it's hundreds of photos, sometimes it's could be thousands of photos, and you use stacking software to stack them together. Um, and the longer time you spend on it, the sharper and more detailed the image gets. Looking over the photos that you've captured already, what are some of your, your favorites that stand out? Well, all the, all the main ones, like the Horsehead Nebula, um, Orion Nebula, I really like. Uh, this scope really isn't set up for galaxies because it's more of a wide angle. Um, but I do like, a, like M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy. There's just a bunch out there, and there's a bunch that I don't even know about. I, I search online and see what I want to shoot that night and find, find new things all the time. So. There's just uh, countless things to photograph up there. <laughs>